Skinny girls weak, the models don't compare Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs Woo, got me hotter than a sauna Ass so fat, make me wanna thank your mama Ass so fat, I think I need a lap dance Ass so fat, about to pop out of them pants What's up you guys, I'm back today with another video so you guys today I'm keeping along with my whole little holiday series recipes so I'm about to show you guys another bomb recipe and it is a dessert y'all like who is this who I, is that me making desserts like I never make desserts but this is gonna be a dessert today I'm showing you guys how to make my super easy super bomb sweet potato pie y'all okay so I'm about to show you guys how I make my sweet potato pie. It's really good. It's full of flavor and it's very easy to make. So if you want to see how I make my sweet potato pie, stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So here is what we're going to need to make our sweet potato pie. This is everything you're going to need to make the best sweet potato pie. Like I've seen some recipes where there's like a million ingredients in the pie and you really don't need all that. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to make this recipe as straightforward, bomb, and as simple as possible. So here, this is what we have. We have some orange juice right here. We have um, some apricot preserves. I'm going to show you guys what I do with that. Some half and half. Some real sweet cream butter. Because you know we don't do the, you know, margarine. Some eggs. We have two big sweet potatoes. Um, uh, this is all you're gonna need. This is gonna make two whole pies. So you see, this one's really big, and you know, that's this right here is gonna make two pies. So I have some pumpkin pie spice, even though it's a sweet potato pie, this is gonna, you know, be very good in it. I have some ground cinnamon, some vanilla extract, some nutmeg, even though, of course, this has nutmeg and the cloves already in it, I like to add a little bit extra nutmeg. So I have two pre-made deep dish pie crusts. See, there's two in there. I mean, if you like to make your own pie crusts, more power to you. I'm gonna use these pre-made ones. I mean, you can use these. You can use the ones that you like roll out and you form into your own pan. More power to you. Use whichever one that you like. I'm gonna use these. I get these from Aldi and they're bomb. See? And also I have some dark brown sugar. And I have some light brown sugar. And you guys, that is everything we're going to need to make our best ever sweet potato pies. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go take these sweet potatoes and boil them in some hot boiling water until they're fork tender and they're able to mash. And, um, you know, I'm able to peel the skin off. You know, it's so much easier to boil your, your potatoes and then peel the skin off. The sweet potatoes, yams, all that. So, um, we're going to go ahead and cook these now in some boiling water. Lego. Okay, you guys, so these are done. You see how the knife goes in and out? really nice and easy they're cooked all the way through like all the way through so what i like to do is i just turn the fire off and i'm just gonna let these cool down to where i can handle it by touch you know i try not to rush these so by the time you know the water is cool enough to touch the, the potatoes should be cool enough to touch so we're just gonna leave these in here and just let them cool down oh those are done all right so once these cool down i'll be right back Okay, you guys, so our sweet potatoes are cool to the touch now. Now it's super easy to just peel the skin off. So I'm going to go ahead and just peel the skin off of both of these sweet potatoes. Okay, so we have our sweet potatoes all nice and peeled. I'm just here. And I'm going to start matching them up. If you see any strings in your sweet potatoes, make sure you take any strings out. The strings are like fibers. Ooh, I'm sorry. These still a little warm, y'all. Let's fuck it up my camera. 
Are we back? All right, we back. If you see any strings, you take them out. Like, you see right here? See that? Any strings like that, you take them out. So you just go through the whole mix. If you see any strings, you pull them out. And we're just going to mash this all down, okay? Okay, you guys, so we have the sweet potatoes all nice and mashed up. Um, I went through all of this to make sure I didn't have strings in here. And it's pretty good. You see how much uh, mashed sweet potatoes these are? This is just two of them. This is about three. I'd say like two and a half to three cups of um, mashed sweet potatoes. I know the sweet potatoes vary in size, so it's hard to like... You know tell you how many to use but this right here is about i'd say two and a half to almost three cups of mashed sweet potatoes so the next thing i'm gonna put in here while it's warm is i'm gonna put three tablespoons of the salted butter i'm gonna go ahead and mix that in Next, I'm going to put a tablespoon of vanilla extract. So that was the vanilla. I'm going to go ahead and mix this up really well. Make sure I melt that butter in all around. Next, I'm going to add a dash of nutmeg. That's about a quarter teaspoon. Now I'm going to put in some pumpkin pie spice, some ground cinnamon, and I'm going to put a splash of orange juice just to give it like a nice little contrast, um, you know, with the citrus flavor. I'm not going to use all of this. I'm just going to put a splash that much of orange juice. And now let's mix this up. Okay, so that looks good. The trick is you want to see like specks of the spices in it. And that looks pretty good. So next we're going to add three whole eggs. Okay, so I have the three eggs in. This is three-fourths of a cup of um, half and half. So that's in there. Let's go ahead and mix this up. You can, of course, do this with, like, an electric blender and all that, um, the mixer and all that, but some stuff I just like to do by hand, so. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this well, and I'm gonna see if I need to add any more half and half. We shall see after I mix this thoroughly. But so far, this is just three quarters of a cup. Okay, so I'm gonna add another quarter cup of half and half, so that will make it one cup in total and mix this up that should be perfect okay so that looks like a good consistency now i'm gonna add some of this uh, light brown sugar i'm going to put a half a cup okay and then i'm going to put a quarter cup of the dark brown sugar okay so here is the dark brown sugar what's the, the difference between the light and the dark is the dark brown sugar has um more molasses added into it so i'm gonna go ahead and use so i'm gonna go ahead and use a quarter cup of that that looks good now we're going to go ahead and mix this up
Okay, so I just tasted this batter and I think it needs like a little bit more sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and add like a couple more tablespoons. It's like two tablespoons of the dark brown sugar. You really have to go by taste and eye because sometimes your sweet potatoes might be sweeter or less than, less sweet, you know, different times. So you have to like really, um, you know, taste it and see what it's looking like. So I just added some more brown sugar. Let's mix it up. Okay, you guys, so this is looking good. This is the consistency that you want. Not too runny, not too thick. I mean, you could, of course, use the electric blender if you don't like the little pieces, but it all bakes out. So, this looks good. Now, let's get this into our pie shells. Yum. It smells so good, y'all. Mm -mm. Homemade sweet potato pie. Okay, you guys, so this is looking good. OMG. Of course, if you use the electric blender, it'll be smoother, but I don't like it like this. To each your own. If you, I mean, however you like it is how you do it, right? So, um, these look pretty perfect to me. So, we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or until it is set in the center. And oh my gosh. Yo, this is gonna be bomb. Mm, you see those speckles of seasoning, the spices in there? That's what you want, honey. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, time to put these in the oven. Okay, you guys, so totally off the subject, while I'm waiting for this pie to get done, I just made this. Big old salad. This is a Southwest salad. It has um, romaine lettuce, iceberg lettuce. It has some cabbage, some radicchio, some shredded carrots. Um, it has some Monterey Jack shredded cheese, some tortilla strips, and I think that's everything. Oh, and I'm gonna top it with this Southwest salad dressing. Bomb, right? So, a little balance going on, right? I mean, this is like a big, this is a 9 by 13 half size pan, so we're about to kill this real quick and then uh, eat some pie. So. Okay, you guys, so it's been almost an hour actually, and um, these look pretty done. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out the oven and let them cool down. So you guys, here is my pies, and look at that crust. The crust is perfectly golden brown, not burned at all. That's why I don't pre-bake my pie crust, because they usually get too dark when you do that. These are perfect. Look at that. Okay, so uh, let's cut into them. That's sure cutting good. Okay. So, here's the first slice. Okay. The moment of truth. Okay, guys, so let's taste it. Yeah, I'm gonna put some whipped cream on top. Yeah. Oh my god. You guys, look at that texture inside. Standing up well. Absolutely perfect. Look at all them spices in there. So good. So now you're going to taste my homemade sweet potato pie.
That is all right, Ashley. Thank you. Once again, you hit it on the head. Huh? Once again, you hit it on the head. Once again, I hit it on the head? Mm. Oh my God, I want more. <laughs> Thank I you. I want my own slice. You can have your own slice. Yeah. You like it? Is it good? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, kids. It's better than the real pumpkin pie. Because well, it's not pumpkin pie, Mama. It's sweet potato. Whipped cream is better. Oh, so good, right? How do you know that when, like, my, like, what was that again? Well, I guess they approve, you guys. I want to eat this. <laughs> OMG, y'all. This pie is so good. Oh. So, yeah, that was my sweet potato pie recipe. I hope you guys try out this recipe. When you do, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, Snapchat, email me, whatever you need to do so I can see your version of my recipe. I love when you guys do that. And, um, yeah, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to do you, boo. Bye guys! You know I got that egg right. Let me home by three. Then put you straight to sleep. Is that right?